Hey guys, it's Shantrinas, and today I have this fun little holiday festive look for you guys. So this is a collaboration with the beautiful Jasmine Anita, and I'll link her video in the description box so you guys can check her out too, but she is gorgeous and her makeup is always amazing. We basically did a holiday collaboration, holiday festive type of makeup, so this is what I came up with. And I'm going to start off by using my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Peacock and this is basically just like a forest green and I didn't notice before but this does have some shimmer in it and I'm going to cover it up so you can't even see it but um, if you're going to do this probably try a dark green that doesn't have too much shimmer in it. And then next I'm taking my Carity Smoky Palette in the green. Um, I don't think these shades have names but it's just like a forest, like a dark green. And next, I'm going in the Carity palette again and getting the black shade. So I didn't have any darker greens to kind of smoke out the the eye a little bit. So I just used a so I just used black to do that. And then I'm taking this blending brush and just blending that out a little bit. Okay, next I took my uh, NYX eyeshadow base and I honestly, I think I should have chose something else because later on you'll see in the video that it started to crease, but you can take an eyeshadow base or you can use your um, concealer. I think that might have been helpful too if I just use concealer instead of this thing, but um, you know, it works well on its own, just not to use to do a cut crease. And then once I was done with that, I just kind of blended it out with my finger. And then I'm taking my Modern Renaissance palette in this shade Tempera or Tempura or something. Tempera. And then after I was done with that, I just cleaned it up with my makeup wipe. And next I'm taking my NYX Conceal and Correct palettes and I'm using the orange shade to color correct the darkness around my eyes and around my mustache area. <laughs> I honestly use this every time I wear makeup and I want it to be full coverage because it covers really nicely. And then I'm taking my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and I don't really know what shade I'm in for this one. I just got a little sample of it so I'm just kind of using that until I figure out if I want it. And then blending that out with my e.l.f. powder brush. It's my favorite blending for foundation brush. Next, I'm taking my Lancome Stick Foundation. This is their Tint Eye Doll Makeup Stick Foundation. I don't even know if I say that right, but that's what I'm using. And then next I'm taking the NARS Creamy Radiance Concealer in Amande or Amande.
and then going over that with the same type of concealer in a lower shade they came out with shades in between the shades that they originally came out with so um, I'm gonna be using the color chestnut Okay, and then I found this new contour set from NYX. I'm just using the darker shade here. It's a lot darker than the set or the, the brown that's in the other set that I have. And then I'm going in with concealer again. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Warm Honey. I know I'm doing a lot with these concealers, but I was going for really full coverage. This was actually for an event at work, and it was Whoville themed, so you know, like, um, the Grinch who stole Christmas and stuff. I was supposed to be super festive, and this makeup needed to last all day, okay? And then I set that with my Laura Mercier setting powder, the translucent setting powder. Okay, and then I'm finishing up the eyes using my Urban Decay Eyeliner in Perversion. And this was honestly a challenge. Um, it's a lot harder than it looks. Uh, at least for me, I was shaking so much because I didn't want to mess up on camera. Uh, but basically you're going to draw a dot and then draw some lines through the dot, add some dots to those lines at the ends and um, once again in the middle and then add in some detail work. I don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> add in some details by making it look more like a snowflake. And then I also added in some dots randomly. Next, I'm taking my, this is from Sephora, it's a Sephora brand, like cream highlighter stick. I don't know, it just makes my highlight stand out a lot more, which is why I like it. So I use that and then I blend it out with my finger. And then I go over top of it with my actual highlighter, my powder highlighter, and it is the MAC Global Glow. And then I'm setting that all with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And then I usually don't show you guys what eyelashes I use, but this time I'm using my um, Vegas Nay uh, Dramatic Eyelash in the blue box. And then that is the finished look. I hope you guys really loved the video. This was definitely a challenge for me, but I hope you guys love it. And make sure to check out Jasmine. Jasmine. <laughs> Uh, on Instagram and YouTube and I'll link her video down in the, in the description box for you guys to check out so yeah and then this is what it looks like in the daytime well, while I was while I was walking outside 
Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys are doing for the holidays and if it's anything fun and festive so I can have some idea what to do because I have no idea what I'm going to be doing since I don't live with family. And uh, let me know if you like the video, if you want to see more like really creative, dramatic styles like this or if you prefer like the more natural styles. And um, make sure to check out Jasmine. She's awesome. And check out her video because her makeup always looks bomb. Like... It always looks amazing. Eyebrows always on point. The like the glow that she does, like her highlighters are always like amazing. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, be sure to watch out for the next video. Bye, guys.